In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how you can get your Fitbit Versa 3 or Fitbit Sense to sync back up if you're having sync issues with your device up next. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Jeff and you're probably watching this video because you're looking for some help because your Fitbit has stopped syncing with whatever device it is that you're trying to get it to sync with. I've got some steps here that I have gone through in the past. I've used several different versions of Fitbits. I've done tutorial videos, help videos on this channel. Uh, so let's see if we can get you synced back up. So the first step uh, that you're definitely going to want to check on your device is that you have Bluetooth turned on. I know depending on what you're doing with your phone and what, what I do with my phone, sometimes I will turn Bluetooth off for one reason or another and when I do that all of a sudden uh, my Fitbit's gonna stop syncing. So on an Android device, just to let you guys know, I'm using a Google Pixel 3 and uh, right now this is running Android 11 and uh, the easiest thing that you can do is just pull down from the top of the screen and that's going to access uh, kind of your hot buttons here and shortcuts and then from here you're going to see that you have your Bluetooth button and you want to make sure that's turned on. Now if it's uh, turned on and you're still not syncing another great tip then is to toggle it off and then toggle it back on uh, just to try seeing if that will help and then go back into your Fitbit app and then what I just typically do is I will go uh, to my device so I just click on my account button you can even do it from the dashboard here it's trying to gather my data and trying to sync with my Fitbit you can just pull down and it's even telling me it could not sync with my Versa 3. Now this is on Android. If you're on an iPhone, on an iPhone you're going to want to do something very similar. I'm actually going to pull up from the bottom of the screen. That's going to access my shortcuts hop buttons and you'll see right there is my Bluetooth button. I can toggle that on and off. You'll want to try that. Go into your Fitbit app and then see if the sync is going to work. So then the next step that I would recommend to you is going to be to, I've noticed that there has been syncing issues with my device if my phone is set in battery saver mode. Battery saver mode helps extend the life of my Google Pixel 3, uh, but at the same time, sometimes it causes syncing issues with my Fitbit. So again, just kind of pulling down from the top of the screen and seeing all these different buttons, one of them is going to be battery saver. Now, if you're not seeing that, sometimes if you just scroll over, you'll see more options but making sure that your battery saver is off uh, that is also going to help with uh, having it better sync the other thing I would recommend is that you make sure that your battery optimization for the Fitbit app is actually not optimized um, so if that is the case the easiest way you can check that is go to the gear icon and that takes you into your different settings and you're going to want to go to apps and notifications and then you're going to want to search through your apps. If you just recently used Fitbit, uh, it's going to say it's going to bring up a shortcut to Fitbit. Otherwise, I can search right there to see all of my apps. I got a ton of apps. Um, I'm just going to go into Fitbit. And then under Fitbit, I can also see here uh, all different options for Fitbit. If I go to Advanced and then I look under Battery, my battery settings for the Fitbit app are not optimized. You can set that to optimize, but I've noticed that also can cause syncing issues. So you want to make sure that's not optimized. And then again, go back, make sure uh, that you are uh, not in battery saver mode, which I'm out of it. So then let's go ahead and see if it's going to sync this way and again it's still not able to sync so then the next thing I would suggest to you is go ahead and restart your phone or tablet or whatever device it is that you're trying to connect to your Fitbit and also go ahead and restart your Fitbit so for me to restart my phone I'm just holding in the power button and I'm gonna go ahead and restart to restart my Fitbit Versa 3 or the Sense uh, no matter what screen you're on if you long press and hold down on that side button for 10 seconds, 
uh, you'll see the screen's gonna kind of flash. It'll give you like a blip, and that is actually your Fitbit restarting. I also will feel it do like a little vibration, and we will see the restart screen come up. So I will come back when this is restarted and my phone is restarted. So the next thing we're gonna try is disconnecting the Versa 3 from your Bluetooth. So you're gonna wanna go back to your connected devices. Uh, in this instance, I'm pulling down, getting to my menus, clicking on my gear icon, and then going to connected devices. I can see what's currently connected and I see that it's my Versa 3. I'm gonna tap on that and I'm gonna forget this device. And it says your phone will no longer be paired with the Versa 3. So I am gonna forget that device. Uh, from this point, I'm going to go ahead and pair new device, and I can see it's popping up there, Versa 3. If you're noticing your Versa 3 is not popping up after this of being an available device, again, you may need to restart again your Fitbit device. So we're going to go to Versa 3 and see if it will pair back up. Looks like it's going through its different connection steps. And while it's reconnecting, I went to the Fitbit app again and... It was going through checking to see if it could update and it actually was able to sync back up with my Versa 3 uh, and I can see now that my steps have updated this was all zero and it was telling me that it hadn't synced for days it now has been able to sync and update its syncing again even though it says syncing is taking a while uh, but if we scroll down we'll see that all this stuff is now updated my sync is complete if I click on the account and go back to device, I'll see that uh, it just synced a moment ago down here. So that definitely uh, helped it uh, sync back up. And if this video helped you out, please take a second right now, smash that like button as it helps out this video as well as this channel. Now, if you're still, if you're doing that and it's still not working, two other things that I would suggest to you, um, unfortunately, it's a little bit more work but uh, what you would need to do from this point is go to whatever device it is. So in this case, it would be my Versa 3, and you're gonna wanna go up to the trash can, just like you did if you had to delete any other connected Fitbit devices, and go ahead and delete this device out of your Fitbit app, and then you would have to, that, that will take it off your screen, and then you'll have to set up the device again. Uh, on your Fitbit or on your phone for Fitbit and that should allow you to sync it back up. Uh, the other thing you can do and if you want to try this before doing that is you can also uninstall and reinstall the Fitbit app. So if you haven't done that before if you go to your menu and then you find the Fitbit app on your phone if you just hold it down and move it around a little bit at the top of the screen, you'll see uninstall and remove. I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall that, and that would uninstall it from my phone. Then what I would do is go to my Google Play Store, I would search for Fitbit, and then instead of it saying open, I would have to reinstall the Fitbit app back onto my phone. I would have to log back in to uh, my Fitbit uh, account, and then anything that was synced up before that problem syncing that'll all still be saved in your Fitbit app and unfortunately you'll just have to reinstall the app re-log back in and then once you're logged back in you're going to want to go ahead to your account set up your device if it's not popping back up and then sync your device that way hopefully that also fixes your device now if you do all that and it's still not syncing up something else you can do is factory reset your fitbit device and the way you would do that is to go into the watch itself so we're going to swipe to the left and then i'll go to settings i will scroll down in settings until i get to the bottom here where it says about versa 3 or about sense and then under this area, if I scroll down to the bottom, I will see factory reset. Now this is gonna erase all device info from the watch, but if you have tried all those other steps and it's still not syncing up, it's still not working, there's a good chance that it is probably something that uh, is just not working right with the watch itself. Now this is going to erase any 
thing that you've currently got set up in the watch, but again, any of your previous steps, any of that previous exercise information, whatever was being recorded up until it stopped syncing, that should be saved in your Fitbit app. So when you do a reset and then you reconnect everything back up to your account, all that information should still be saved in your account up until that point where the sync stopped working. Hey guys, so I hope all these tips helped you get your Fitbit synced back up with your phone or your device. Let me know down in the comments section below if you tried something else or if there's another helpful tip that could help other people out uh, as far as troubleshooting if their Fitbit's not syncing. Now Fitbit also has help articles on their website and I'm linking to one that's called Why Won't My Fitbit Sync? Uh, that will be linked down in the description below so you can take a look at that. Uh, in addition to watching this video. Uh, did you happen to spot Tinker? So Tinker is our little hidden robot. He pops up in all the videos on our channel. If you happen to spot him popping up during this video, it actually would have been before this part, so you'd have to back up and rewatch some of the parts. If you are the first person to find Tinker in this video, let me know the timestamp or the amount of time into this video. Uh, so if it was a couple minutes in, let me know that exact time that he popped up along with your best comment down in the comments section below to get your name uh, on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page as well as a shout out in a future video. And a big shout out to Bella Castano and Stephen Hall, our latest viewers on this channel to spot Tinker in one of our recent videos. So I've also done a lot of other helpful tip videos on this channel uh, on these Fitbit products. So if you want to learn how to uh, use the on-wrist calling features on the Versa 3 of the Fitbit Sense, or use Spotify, or even use the GPS for your tracking. Even my top 10 lists for cool clock faces, those are all cool videos you can check out on this channel. Uh, I release videos weekly, and if you haven't yet subscribed, take a second right now, hit that subscribe button, that little notification bell, you'll get notified every time I release new videos. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video.